Hello everyone and welcome to the video and today we're going to be talking about how to play Widowmaker or more importantly how to be effective on Widowmaker because a lot of times people will pick Widowmaker and do absolutely nothing. So contrary to popular belief you don't have to have excellent aim to be good on Widow. Obviously if you want to be a great Widow you will have to be hitting a consistent amount of headshots and getting a consistent amount of picks. However you can be a good Widowmaker by just having good positioning. So Positioning on Widow is absolutely everything and having good position is very very dependent on the map so obviously there's maps where Widowmaker is absolutely awful and should not be played however on maps like Junkertown or, or most of the payload maps King's Row on, uh, on attack is an amazing one. I love playing Widow a lot on attack specifically just because I feel like you get a lot more value from one pick whereas on defense they tend to spawn back so you have to get more picks and more consistent picks and it's a little bit harder to play Widow so understanding when you should be playing Widow is very important as well as the type of team comp you want to be playing Widow into so a lot of times when there's a Reinhardt it's not a great time to pick Widow as well as Diva. Diva can dive you for absolutely free and it's very hard to get away from a Diva. so understanding your counters and playing around that is very important but let's get back to positioning so Basically, as Widow, you want to get to a spot where most people will not be able to get to you. So on, on some sort of high ground or um, way, way in the back. I know on this um, Route 66 map, I was playing Widow on defense and I was so far in the back that I could I had free sight lines on everybody and no one was able to really get to me. And they did have a Winston and he was diving me very heavily, but... Um, understanding how to play around when you're getting dove is also very important. So what I mean by this is obviously you want to throw down your mine as soon as you get to a position where you're going to be setting up and then from there you want to be relying if you do get dove you want to be relying on your grappling hook. You can use this to get away, get back to your team or whatever you need to do but as you guys will see in this video at some point I used it to get away from a Winston who was nanoed and he essentially wasted the entire nano by trying to kill me and he didn't even kill me so you want to use your grappling hook to be as hard to kill as possible but like i said before positioning is everything so if you are just in a position that is very hard to be dove in the first place you'll be at an advantage and even if they do dive you they'll have to waste resources winston will have to jump diva will have to fly to you and that way you can just use your grappling hook to get away and they would have to wait until their jump again or wait until their their boosters and you know you'll be fine so I'll say it again, positioning is absolutely everything. Positioning can essentially be broken down into two things. And that is, how are your angles? Do you have good angles of the enemy team? Can you see their back line? Can you get a lot of shots off? Do you have a, a wide view of the entire battlefield with a little bit of cover as well? And the second part is, how easy are you to be dove? How easy can a Genji close the gap between you and him, land on your head and kill you instantly? How quick can a Winston jump on? If a Winston can jump directly on you, you're probably not in a great position. So essentially with Widow, you just want to be so far back with a great view of the map and you're going to be just fine. And the reason this is so important is because if you're not dead and they're not diving you, you're just going to be able to pop off shots constantly. And this is why I said you don't necessarily have to have amazing aim to be a good Widow. It's because if you were in the back line very, very far and very safe, you are going to be able to just take shots constantly and they won't be able to do anything about it. So even if you're missing a majority of your shots and you're still alive and, and getting some picks here and there, you're going to be having a lot of value on your team because you're essentially just a looming threat for them. They have to play around cover. They have to play around you. And that can change up everything as well as just one pick a fight is, is enough for your team to pretty much win if you get a pick on like a healers and yadas are very easy to headshot same with annas if you get a pick on them you guys pretty much won the engagement um, obviously sometimes you'll have to do more than that to be able to win consistently and uh, not have to rely on your team as much but um the next thing i want to talk about is how to get your aim good on widow so if you guys don't feel confident in your aim um i would definitely suggest constantly running um the widow headshot the widow 1v1s you know whatever the whatever you really feel like but these are very important because a lot of times people will try to counter pick your widow and just try to be a better widow than you and kill you and they'll do this if their dive isn't working so if you have good positioning and they end up pulling out another widow the second part of this is just having better aim than that widow you want to have better aim you want to have better movement 
So this means jumping around corners or utilizing crouch spamming in between your shots. Like I said, just practice your Widow 1v1s or practice Widow headshots only. If you do that consistently, you will be very good at dealing with enemy Widows specifically. And if they do try to counterpick you with Widow, which is something that happens all the time if they can't dive you, um, you're probably going to win most of the time anyway and you're just going to be a massive threat. And the last tip I have for you guys is just practice your aim. It is very important. She is a very aim dependent character. Um, at the end of the day, if, if you're just not hitting headshots and you're not getting kills, you're not going to be valuable. So you do to some degree have to have decent aim on Widow. So go into Kovacs. There's this one drill called clicking heads. I believe it's on um, a noted playlist. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, if you go in that one, that one's great for leading your shots because a lot of times with Widow, you're not going to actually be tracking, but you're going to pretty much be waiting for the enemy to be moving into the headshot if they are moving like i know in the in the earlier clip in the beginning of the game there was a kiriko who was strafing back and forth i just put my crosshair in the middle and she strafed right into it and i shot so if you can get your crosshair placement correct and you can click at the right time you're going to be a pretty good widow so to sum everything up just practice your positioning practice your aim and you will be a very difficult to deal with widow that gets consistent picks for your team so that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to see any other guides, just let me know. Comment down below and whichever one gets the most likes. Uh, I will be making that video next. However, I will be making most of these videos anyway. I, I could do supports and tanks as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.